Hi, this is Marto. In this video, I will show you the game between Andrei Lukin and Gennady Timoshchenko. This very beautiful chess game was played in Soviet Union in 1979. Andrei Lukin had white pieces and he started with e4. Gennady Timoshchenko played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, knight to c3, d6. Timoshchenko goes for the Scheveningen variation of the Sicilian defense. d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, bishop to e2, a6, Lukin castled kingside, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, Timoshchenko castled kingside too, f4, queen to c7, we are following the my line, it is white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Well, these are the most popular moves, a4, g4, king to h1, bishop to f3, and queen to e1. In our game we have a4, knight to c6, king to h1, rook to e8, queen to e1. The queen is coming to g3 to make the pawn on g7 sweat. Knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, e5, f takes on e5, d takes on e5, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Lukin played the queen to g3, pinning the pawn. If pawn takes bishop, queen takes queen. So we have bishop to d8, bishop to e3, threatening bishop to h6. King to h8, bishop to g5, bishop to e6, rook from a to d1, black to move. Two very popular moves for black are knight to g8 and bishop to e7. In our game we have a rook to c8 white to move and to surprise black with his move. What surprise move can you see? Can you see a queen sacrifice? No? Neither can I. That's okay then. In the game we have rook takes bishop, the best move, black to move, black considered rook from c takes rook, rook from e takes rook on d8, instead we have queen takes on d8, what's wrong if rook takes on d8, then rook takes on f6, winning for white. Black is advised not to capture the rook because bishop takes on f6, check, mate. We have queen takes on d8, queen to h4, black knight is under so much pressure, he wants to make a phone call. Phone calls are not allowed during the game. Bishop to c4, white to move. Please pause the video and find the best move for white, or should I say, find a killer move that white played. Did you find a killer move? Kaboom! Second exchange sacrifice attempted. Bishop takes bishop. If pawn takes rook, then bishop takes 
on f6 check winning the queen so we have bishop takes on e2 rook to h6 discover the attack on the queen threatening rook takes pawn on h7 f6 white to move how will you continue would you continue like this this is the wrong move then king to g8 and after rook to h8 king to f7 and black is doing well what is the best move then do you need to pause the video or it's obvious this is the best move bishop takes on f6 pawn takes bishop rook takes on h7 now king to g8 queen to h6 threatening check and checkmate rook to c7 defending 7th rank queen to g6 king to f8 rook to h8 king to e7 white play the move and black resigned what is the move the move is knight to d5 black resigned one line goes like this king to d7 then rook takes rook queen takes rook and now very unpleasant knight takes on f6 check forking the king and the queen after king to e7 knight takes queen then perhaps black can hope to be lucky to give checkmate but after h4 all hope is gone so we can stop here what a powerful attack what do you think of this game how many moves did you guess let's go back to these very critical positions this is the first one did you spot this exchange sacrifice and what about this position did you see rook takes knight on f6 and this one perhaps if you're in a hurry it's easy to go wrong by taking on h7 but looking was very sharp and precise well in this position it was easy I guess to find a move that decided the game knight to d5 what a game and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now